Hello there, my name is Niyamada. In today's tutorial, we're going to create a trifold design. Alright, so I, the size I'm going to be using is 930 by 2013. Take note. Now, this is going to be the front. Okay. So I'm just going to get a shape, alright, I'm going to put it here, okay, alright, so I'll make the background white, just any design of your choice, anyways, so I'm going to bring in something. Let's go to download. Okay, let's use this guy. All right. All right, so let's write something here. Let's see. Kings food. All right. Um, let's change this and centralize it. Let's do this. Okay. Mm. All right. Let's make here black. All right. Mm. Let's put this at the middle and copy it. Let's put the word there menu. Okay. Let's change the color to maybe red or something. Right, so. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna just download any food logo. So let's see. Let's use this. And you guys know that no deal. Okay, let's try and use this. Okay. I'll just write something there. Yeah, look cool. Right. So I come here and drain this guy. Just put it there. Work on this. Okay, so let's just say, um, let's bring this guy here. So let's say, um, delivery and re reuse. Preservation. Right, let's come over here. All right. 
right, let's change the color to yellow. Alright, we centralize it, copy it, alright, change this one to white. Alright, we use a long font for it. Let's go with this. Alright, let's go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I'll put in there. Centralize it. All right, so that's just a simple front design for this um, brochure. All right, so this is the front, right? So we're going to save it as the front. So I'm saving this as the front. So usually I'm supposed to create another page, but I don't want to create another page to save my time. I'm going to use the same page. Now for the first, the front page, let me use, let's use, um, let's use this color. Let's do it like this and drag it here like this, All right? So for the front page, we're going to do something like, um, let's go with um our menu okay let's use this guy so we're gonna come over here we'll bring this here we we'll just this logo we can just put it somewhere here right so we can come here and say um our menu and Right, so I'm just putting that word there. It may not be really the correct word, but just a way to display all the things that they sell. Okay, so I'm going to put a list of all the things that they sell. All right, I'm going to use this guy now. I'm come here like this. All right. So I will do. I will do this. So let's go. Let's say, let's say fried rice. Okay, then I'll just go and do one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Right. Let's just say that. Let's say um, twenty dollars. All right. So I'm going to copy it and replace it for all. Alright, so that's how you put it. So let's say it's like that. So let me see, give it space here. Alright, so let's, let's to copy this. Alright, let's assume that this is the menu, okay? So what do we put here? Let's remove this guy. Let's remove this guy. Let's bring this guy here. Alright. So um I'm just gonna put the food, different kind of food. Alright. So so we can just put different food there just to show that we have these things available, okay? can do something like this maybe here we can't we can send this to the back we can also send this to the back so we can have something like this and then um, right here we can just bring some words all right and put it there so it's not necessary you can put some words there okay so let's assume that this is it all right so let's remove this guy. Let's put this on here. Alright, let's put your logo here. Yeah. 
right then we can now save this one so this is page one all right so i have saved it now so for the other middle page now all right for the middle page i'm going to just do something like um um just a straight stuff so let me use white for the middle page so let's use all white for the middle page so all right so let's say for the middle page we have this we have this all right then we have um we have um let's say we have these two okay let's say we have this one let's say we have this and then we have um, something like download our app all right so let's say we have something like download our app let's say download our app all right so i can just put it back here okay so let me just get um um google play store and apple so png all right so something like this so let's see mm, will this work um, let's check all right this will work so let's visit it and download it well oh, time is 12 minutes already so we can just place something like that here Place it there like this. All right, then we can save this. Okay. So for the last page, all right, for the last page, we can repeat this call. So we can come over here now and do this. So I remove this white or can make it two colors so something like this so this one can go out all right so we can bring this guy here uh, let's just remove this one all right let's change this to maybe yellow okay all right or we can decide to change here to black okay then we can, we can bring this guy here i see that now so i can move this side to bring this here too all right remember i'm just doing this design it's not really going to be perfect all right so i don't like the black i prefer white can turn to maybe red all right and this can turn to black now so let's just save it okay so now that we're done with the design we can go over now to um photo p then we can click on file and we open the mock-up that we'll be using all right so this is the mock-up i will drop a link in the description for you to download it i'll go to folder and I'll open this guy so that the mock-up will show like this i'll click here i'll go to where we have front cover all right are you seeing that now 
then i'll double click on this front cover sorry front yeah this one i'll double click on that small boss there all right it will open this guy then i will come over here file i'll click on open and place i will select the file the front page i just saved this then we'll choose the front cover right this is the front cover so we'll click on file and we'll click on save smart object it has been saved we'll go back to this place here We'll click on um, first page. We'll open it and we'll click on open and place. So you look for your first page, which is this. Click on file, click on save smart object. Go back again, click on second page so that's how you keep adding all of them so I'm adding this one here click on file click on save smart object I go back again you click on this go to third page click on file click on open and place and then you select this then click on save smart object so as you can see everything has been saved so if you wanted to add more you have to come over here go to the middle page right click on file click on open and place let's just add this click on file click on save smart object right then come over here click on fourth page click on file click on open and place click on save smart object all right so this is what you have in the end all right so if you wanted to edit the background you could just come over here and remove that layer it's going to be like this then you can save it you can also remove this shadow um, you can remove this then click on click on file click on export as png then you save Right, the file have been saved. You can go now to Pixel, for example, and do this. Right, and you see that your file is ready, like this. I see that the file is ready. Alright, so don't forget to like this video and share for more tutorials like this. My name is Nia Model and I will see you in another tutorial.